You've got incredible developers and incredible artists. You've got legendary IP. And, uh, you know, this is how the higher-ups are just running those incredible things into the ground. I mean, their line of limitless custom games, that's also rather funny. They give them a new license agreement, as is, say, their claim of the updated UI. Of course, that's something they are not abandoning. Uh, they have to the show that a lot of UI refresh, but that's gone. So, uh, and also, they're going with a higher fidelity art. I just want to be able to hear this is personal. I think it looks terrible compared to the store. Now, they found this out to the studio called Lemon Sky, and they clearly just did not give Lemon Sky solid direction in this. The chunkiness of Warcraft remains in the buildings, but it's gone from the characters. And I really think the buildings and the characters, even the environments just clash visually. It looks like a mobile game. It's really bad at Rage Shadow. Also, in the detailed models, they're far less readable than the original game. And if you think about the animations, I mean, if you're dealing with low poly uh, models, then you can get away with these stiff animations. So here, I mean, just compare this stuff to the work they do in the storm, which looks gorgeous. One of those games is a brilliant quality product, the other one is not. And they end up saying that they know that the other person is not going to address people with the best to call them, but they say that it's Overall, it does seem like a fine tuning of what is there is in scope for this project. But really, not that much else is. Now, past that, there is one more thing. And this is a bit tricky to quantify, but it does seem like Blizzard have massively opened up their automatic refund criteria for the game. So, originally, it was not available for many people, and this led to many people having to go through customer support to get their refunds. Since then, though, it does seem like the criteria for automated refunds has massively increased, such that really just about anyone can request a refund for the game. Now, a part of me wonders, right,